Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory, GTC EU Hard Mode. Alright, so here we are today in episode 98, almost at 100. And we're still not even almost, well, we're almost done with the game. Well, I don't know, I mean, we've still got the freaking 10 tier 10 Megamire to make. So we might be in here for a couple more episodes, that's for sure. Anyway, all right, so last episode, I believe we were working on the injections for the wiring cores, and we got that completed. Um, I always forget which way to go. Go this way. Then those turbines, how... Okay, so they're half dead. Uh, okay, so as you can see here, we have our injection system, and eventually we'll be upgrading the injectors to the wyvern, but uh, I don't know if we can exactly do that right now can we over injectors okay that's gonna take draconium blocks activated that is or block of draconium question mark block of draconium do you need the activation doesn't seem like you do come on activated So we have to bathe it in a mericeum to activate it? That is, oh, LUV, ooh. But do we even need that is the question. Excuse me, I guess I'm having a soda, so my stomach's a little bit uneasy. Um, doesn't seem like we do need the activated block, which is nice. Oh great, now I got hiccups. Regardless, that doesn't seem too crazy. Okay, so I think, yes, last episode I did cover that I wanted to get into the phantom faces for the injector system. <coughs> Crap. Let me be right back, see if I can get these hiccups under control. Okay, I think I'm fine for now. Okay, um, phantom faces. Yes, yeah, so I want to get phantom faces for the injector system, but I also want to get it for, well, other reasons. Uh, one specifically that I can think of off the top of my head is... The turbines, right? I can figure out a way to phantom face turbine rotors into the turbine holder, I believe. And therefore, they will never stop turning or never, yeah, I guess never stop, never die for very long and be able to keep rotating power. I believe if you put in a turbine as it dies, it should continue to spin, but I'm not sure on that. Any case, um, right, okay, so what do we need for the phantom face, right? We need diamantine, and everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. We already have these things here. Now, diamantine, well, we're going to need an empower diamantine, rather. So the di empower diamantine crystal block, again, it's going to come from the combination crafter, which is going to be endostar, crystal tin ingots, crystal tin components, and nitrogen dioxide cell. Off camera, I actually set up the canner for the nitrogen dioxide. So that's that. I also set up the other recipes for the empowered blocks in our combination crafter. So all we need to do is make the uh, void and restonia empowered recipes as well as their respective cells. And we should be good to go. Um, right. So can I make that now? No. Why? Oh, because I didn't put the recipe for the empowered crystal. Right. Okay. So empowered, you can see here that we got the empowered diamantine crystal block. So if I hit U on that, I should be able to bing bing bada boom. And plop you in. Now, I do believe we have the end of star, right? Yeah, we do. I saw it a second ago. Yeah. Okay. So let's get... Well, we're going to need at least two. All right, and that will craft. Now with the phantom faces, we're also going to need a tool called the phantom connector. All right, so let's get that going here. That's more simple. It just sticks at an eye vendor, so that shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. There we go. There's the faces. Do we have... Okay, it's making the eyes. Okay, there we go. Is that going to be a quest? Or am I going to need more of the other types? Where's a quest? Oh, it's a checkmark box quest. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Wait a minute. Oh, no. 
For a second there, I thought it, it, this block was easier to get, but then I remembered, oh yeah, we still need the combination crafter, which does require... Um... Hold on, I can't remember the top of my head. Damn it. This require... Osmeridium because of the automation interface. Although, although, you could argue that you could just have made the imp basic empower system, which, you know, it's all right. In a pinch if you need it but uh i like to be fully automated anyway okay so let's see here i think do it like this right then we need to right click no we need to right click the source and then click the destination there we go so that should be fine and working so um Wait a tick. Oh, how did I do this? I think I put it fan face here. And then we would need a item interface. Let me get that turned on again. Uh, put that there. Uh, do it. Yeah, that should be fine. A little bit spaghetti, but it's all good. Okay, that should be connected now. Now we get our item conduits. At, oh, great. Right, right. uh, <clears throat> okay, so that should be boom and boom. Now, the only thing we have in here is the Wyvern Core craft, so let's just go ahead and craft up another another one. So this might take a while to craft. What's this going on? Oh, that's the tier four and a half mission that I sent off before the recording. Oh yeah, we still need to get the speed upgrades. Uh, did we get the mill crafted? We do. We did have it, okay. I think we did craft it off camera, or on camera, but I, I forgot about it. So, okay, so let's go up to our egg thief. Go, let's see, where else, where should, I, where should I put this? Where did I put the water mill for that matter? Did I put it anywhere up here? I have no idea where I put it. Over here, is it now? Oh, here it is, all right, right. Eh, why not? We'll just put it here, I guess. Uh, let's make it uniform and bada boom. Okay, so that's a good picture, unless we don't do anything else specifically. Okay, so where's my thing? All right, so you can see when I look over at my manual mill here, we have grid power 2.06 out of 564. So now we can speed upgrade our uh, resonator even further in fact we could even just go ahead and put these two in there and make it four i think it was if we have two in there already yeah however we could easily upgrade this even further but we're going to need experience and experience is going to require or i mean yeah i mean we're going to need experience and we need apples and lapis to make the magical apple which again we get to we get 16 of it but we're also going to make the enchanter and that isn't too crazy on its own, actually. That should be doable. It's just the experience that we're going to need to up our game creation. Oop. Of. Do we have... A, what the hell? I could swear a couple episodes ago I was out of luck with XP, but now we have a butt ton of it. Oh, okay. Anyway. um, Right. So, let's see. I want to experiment with this. Actually, I already have one. We might need a item interface. Thinking how to do this properly. Uh, let's see. So let's see here. There is where the folder is going to be. So if I did something like this, where I do.
Might have to sacrifice. Okay, so if we do something like... There we go. The connection is extracted. It is either not in range, not in loaded chunks, or not the right type of block. Right. Come on, is it? Is it? Let me see something here. What? That's an item interface, so what's it not like? Is obstructed is either not in range, not in loaded chunks, or not the right type of block. Well, that's scuffed. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so... I think the interface should go here. And let's see, HSS. Something tells me that's not going to work, or I'm not doing it right. Let me see if what my laser setup over here is like, to remind myself. So it's basically the same thing. The interface is into the item interface, and it should spit out into the interface slot. Hmm. Is this just not going to work the way I think it will? Here, I got one more plan in mind. Don't think this is going to work the way I think it will. Wait, what? Oh, why can't I click that? Why can't I click into the thing anymore? Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Compass? Extract, insert. Hmm. Maybe there is no way to automatically insert. Maybe it's by design. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Put that back in there, I guess, and we'll get rid of this. Okay. That's unfortunate. All right, then. So, um, back to, let's see, what were we doing before? That's right, the, inter the injection system here, it looks like... Oh, I did forget one other detail. Okay, why does it have an issue? Why is there a stone here, dude? That was weird. I wonder... If... The packager system here... Is bonked. Forked, rather. Load. Eh, there shouldn't be a stone coming in there. I don't know why. Let's put that back. And so there's one more thing that we need to do. Let's go back to our terminal. And we're going to need to get a timer. No, clock. 
Uh, I guess timer is better. We already have the timer, so that's fine. Let me just go put away some things here that I don't need on me right now. Is that done already? Okay, cool. Go back down to here. Okay, so we'll put this here, here, and we'll put that like at 40. Did that save? No. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we're charging our item here. This timer is going to send a signal into the block here, which will you know, start it whenever there's correct items in the inventory slots. So now it's basically fully automated. So if you want to make our system more parallelized, we'll be adding more layers of infusers. But we're at that point right now where we can't really afford that much power throughput or usage. So we'll stick to the one right now. All right, so there's the core and it's gone and it should be back in our system. So I wanna make one more because I'm curious if the system is flawed. Because there was a stone in the injector that should not have been there. I don't know why. I will need to possibly make a tungsten carbide EBF auto stalker. Um, tungsten and carbide. So we might need to run some more shelite and tungstate through our ore processing system. Speaking of which, I wonder if I should make the big boy macerator system the multi block, like how I have the uh metal factories and such but then i would also need to make a washer and a centrifuger right and i think macerator washer centrifuge macerator yeah so we could send all we could loop oh wait is it gonna craft all right good so it's working now so basically yeah i was like i was saying we can loop we can put ores into the big boy macerator, wash it, centrifuge, and then put the results back into the macerator again. But my question is, is the macerator gonna be that much more efficient than say, the macerator? Now that's the uh, large maceration tower. Feels like this machine is kind of locked. The it feels like these large towers are more for recipe crafting than they are for processing. So, in that vein, it might be easier to say make a uh, processing array to have like sixteen macerators, sixteen washers, sixteen centrifuges. So it's doing the job at sixteen times. That being said, it also sounds like the. Mm, I don't know. I still haven't figured this out. We could easily just have four big block towers. Macerator. Well, three, I guess. One macerator, one centrifuge, one washer, and have the 16 hatches in them. But we can also upgrade those, right, to the 64 hatch at a fraction, well, possibly a fraction of the cost. Uh, control... I wonder, I've never seen these blocks before. And they don't have a rest. Oh, they do have a recipe. What the hell? Wait, anyway, um, in the ultimate, uh, ZPM, ZPM field generator, awaken draconium. Yeah, so maybe the processing arrays are more in our affordability right now. Uh, okay, so now we want to get the wyvern injectors. As a recipe, and I don't think we have any other packager. It's just the the, the one here. Okay, so wyvern injector, and we're gonna need ordered, right? And then we have this save load. Let's see, uh, load. 
Hold on, let me do this one more time. I think there's a trick to doing this without having to process everything again. Save. Save. Load. No. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to need a Wyvern Core and another star for my system. No, sorry. Draconic Core. Draconic. And a star. So once we get those items, we can fix this recipe. Star. And wait on the carbide. Okay. So do, 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 do. there you go. Look over here, get rid of that, get rid of that, and go boom. And boom. Save. Should be able to take that out. Put that back in. And let's see. So the wyvern injector, hold on. Wyvern injector only needs eight items. So we can take off. See, I'll take off this one, this one, right? Put that into our system. Oh, so you make the package. Um, wyvern fusion injector. What's it missing? Oh, hold on. I think I need to get the draconium block. And then I'm going to need to process into a pattern, which shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da -da. Unless I misunderstood the recipe here, we might have an issue. Uh, load. Activated block of draconium. Okay, so it does look like we can do this here. Okay. Save and put you in there, put you in there, and Wyvern, 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 there we go. Okay, so it's going to make the package at least. Are we, question is to be seen, are we going to be able to make the injector itself? Let's see, while that crafts, what can we do what can we do from here? Late game. There's a large microverse projector that we are gonna we're going to make because we need to get the tier 7 micromiter soon. Uh that's the quest there. Excuse me. Um fun with fusion. Uh fusion coils would be one thing that we can get to. I think everything here is within our grasp. We just need to make a dedicated trinium fluid. Processor. Okay, so there is the package. Let's come up here and we'll take care of the conium recipe. And then we'll take the package here and look up, look up, oh, Wyvern. Bing, bing, oh, hold on. Bing, bing, bada, nope. Bing, bing, bada, boom. Save. And pop back. I need to make a, an anchor for the infuser. Infuser? Infuser? Infuser. Sheesh. Okay. Where is the... Oh, there we go. So, boom. And let me get up here. Do I have the package with me anymore? No, it's in there. Okay, good. So, boom. And it should be able to make that... Okay, what's it missing now? It might be the case that we can't make it with the draconium blog, even though the recipe says so. Let's see. Let me look at this recipe one more time. So two draconics, one wyvern, one wyvern, one, two draconic, one, two. Oh, I think I fricked up the star recipe. Let's see here. Can I get out the whole... Damn it! Okay. Yeah, you can see there's two there. Damn it! Okay. St um, star. I forgot that part. Okay. Save. Back in you go. And we're going to need to cancel... Oh my god, please. 
cancel the recipe because we're gonna have to re-encode the pattern. Let's get these items out of here. I like how the blocks, the item blocks are much bigger in the injectors for some reason. Okay, so Wyvern. Oh, there's a package. Okay, so back up to the terminal here. Uh, Wyvern. And put that there. Get rid of that. Put that back in. Put you. Oh. There we go. And back you go. Okay. So let's go back. And while we wait for that, while we before we get the injector going, let's get a world anchor. 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 Okay. So yeah, there's a thing that I want to get to eventually is making this boy right here. The advanced world accelerator. Holy gosh. That's going to be a big boy craft. Um, yeah. So this is basically like a means to speed up interactions with the machines and such. But that's going to be super expensive. So we got a bit to go before we can make one of those. Um, okay, so there's the anchor. So let me just pop this down here. And draconic and injector. Okay. Okay, so now let's go for the Wyvern injector. There we go. I feel like it's crafting. Mm. So how much is this? Mm, sorry. How much does a bad boy take? Well, it's like two million RF, which isn't that really isn't that bad really. So the crafts that we do with the injectors are kind of limited by the speed. The speed is limited by the injector tier, if you will. We have the basic, so it's gonna be a little bit slower. But as we get into the wyvern, and then eventually into the draconic, and then super end game, we'll get into the chaotic. With each tier that we go up. Oh my god, did I just... Hold on, what? Uh, with each tier that we go up, we, oh, I think I screwed up the recipe again. With each tier that we go up, it's going to get faster and faster. No, I didn't. So you have one injector. Oh, I forgot I put another inje I didn't clear the injector out of there in the first craft. Okay. So we'll take that and we'll plop it down. Oh, I should probably take that out first. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna be episode title, episode video, thumbnail. Put that back down. And, oh, look at that, they put a star in there. So yeah. I'll probably continue this process until we have 10 Wyvern injectors. So I'll be doing it off camera. So by the time we come back next episode, we'll have them all there. And I guess we can start looking at the large micro uh, the, the microverse. There we go. Um, is this gonna be anything? No, it doesn't look too crazy. The block of diamond, however, we're getting 248. Other than that, it doesn't seem that crazy, honestly. So uh, let's see. Where did I leave a? Yep, yeah, there we go. So then, the same process. We take two of these. Ask for two, and that will continue. So with the large microverse projector, we're gonna have a big boy spear, spear, a big boy sphere here. And yeah, we're gonna need a lot of diamonds. With these micro, large microverses will be sprout. Can I talk today? These things will be responsible for the tier seven and up micro miners. So you have tier 7, tier 8, tier 9, and tier 10. Oh, also tier 8.5 apparently. I don't, I, I could have sworn I read somewhere that this microminer might be phased out in the next update, which there's been like two updates since, but I haven't bothered to change yet. But uh, additionally, once we get into stabilized microminers, we'll be using this microverse, the same thing as well. Um... I like how it asks for a cobblestone as well as the stabilized miner. 
for some reason, need cobblestone, you know? And with that, we get the pristine matter. Kind of like how DML has pristine matter. Matter? But, um... Think about the stabilized machine... The stabilized ships, though, is they don't ever... get used up. Um... So, we, we'll be sending these machines off... pretty frequently, I imagine. Um... It's like a, it's like a tier 7... Microminer. Let's see, where's the 7? There it is. So here's the tier 7 stabilized Microminer recipe. We're gonna need Neutronium. We're gonna need Omnium. We're gonna need Rocket Fuel. Oh, that's not too bad. But Omnium and Neutronium are gonna be the bigger hit, the big hitters. Um, also, we're gonna need Hearts of the Universe. So this is basically after we get to tier 10 Microminers. This is gonna be super in-game stuff. Like, this is gonna be how we get the vending machine or the vending upgrade or whatever the heck it is uh it's not the vending infinite what is it in this version i think it's like a block uh no not that in game it is oh yeah here we go the creative vending upgrade so it... oh yeah the crystallizer is gonna be a thing uh creative vending the heck, what the heck is it called then? A oh, quantum chest. Okay. Quantum chest. This bad boy. So it's kind of the same with the previous seasons, but it looks like we have to use more infinity ingots. Less of the RF sources, which is nice. I guess. Um, it's a small win. But otherwise, everything else here, everything else here seems pretty similar. Don't have to make the stupid, uh, oh, never mind. The extra utility stuff is there. Okay, anyway, I'm getting, I'm rambling on here. But you can see we're getting our injectors now. Uh, why burn? There's one. I'll put that there. So, yeah. We'll get into probably the Tier 7 Micro Miner next episode. And we'll go from there. I hope you did enjoy. I will see you all next time. I'll talk for now.